Understanding Custom Design, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, custom design. Understanding this phrase will not only enhance your vocabulary but also give you insight into a common concept in the worlds of art, business, and everyday life. So, let's dive in. Custom design consists of two words, custom and design. Custom refers to something made or done to order for a particular customer. It implies that it's not mass produced, but rather tailored to specific needs or preferences. Design, on the other hand, involves planning, drawing, or outlining to show the look and function of something before it is built or made. When combined, custom design refers to creating something unique, following the specific requirements or ideas of a customer. To understand custom design better, let's look at some examples. 1. Fashion. A tailor creating a suit that fits your exact measurements is offering a custom design service. 2. Technology. Software developed for a particular company to meet its unique needs is a form of custom design. 3. Art. An artist painting a portrait based on your personal request is doing custom design work. These examples show how custom design is applied in various fields, always focusing on personalized, tailor-made solutions. To get a better grasp, let's use custom design in sentences. They hired an architect for a custom design of their new home. The company offers custom design services for their products. She loves her new dress, it's a custom design from a local designer. Notice how in each sentence, custom design conveys the idea of something specially made to fit individual preferences or requirements. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of custom design. This phrase is a wonderful example of how English can capture specific, personalized concepts in just two words. Remember, learning a language is about understanding these nuances that make communication rich and effective. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.